Welcome to Applied Science and Technology Research Operations video channel. In 2019, Canada Revenue Agency has introduced a multi-factor authentication method to provide additional security for users. A mandatory multi-factor authentication method over the telephone was the only option available. It is obvious that some users complained because it wasn't possible to get access to Canada Revenue Agency account without the telephone. In 2022, Canada Revenue Agency added a second multi-factor authentication method using a passcode grid table which allows users to get access to account without the telephone. The passcode grid table is a 5 by 5 table with 25 cells in total, containing 25 triplets. The columns of the passcode grid table are identified with one character letters. The rows of the passcode grid table are identified with one digit numbers. This is a simulated example of the passcode grid table. This is a simulated example of the passcode grid table. As you can see, in the passcode grid table, there are 25 triplets. In cell A1, there is a triplet ABC. In cell B2, there is a triplet STU. If a user is trying to get access to a CRE account, using the PASCO grid table of multi-factor authentication method, the CRE will ask the user to enter three random triplets from cells of the PASCO grid table. A, B, C, from a A1 cell, STU, from a B2 cell, KLM, from a C3 cell. When a user selects the passcode grid multi-factor authentication method to get access to the CRE account, the CR generates the passcode grid table and sets an expiration date. Visit the Government of Canada website and select Sign into an account. Select CRA My Account. On the My Account for Individuals web page scroll down. Select Sign in Partner to access the CRA account using an online banking service. Select the Sign in Partner, for example Tangerine, if there is an account with it. On the Tangerine web page, enter a client number, a card number, or a user name. On the Tangerine web page, answer a secret question. On the Tangerine web page, enter a personal identification number. On the multi-factor authentication web page of the CRA website, select the passcode grid option. On the multi-factor authentication web page of the CRA website, the passcode grid option has been selected. On the multi-factor authentication web page of the CRA website, three triplets must be entered from cell A1, cell B2, and cell C3 of the passcode grid table. On the multi-factor authentication web page, of the CRA website, three triplets must be entered from cell A1, cell B2, and cell C3 of the passcode grid table. On the multi-factor authentication web page of the CRA website, three triplets must be entered from cell A1, cell B2, and cell C3 of the passcode grid table.
on the multi-factor authentication web page of the CRA website, three triplets have been entered from cell A1, cell B2, and cell C3 of the passcode grip table, and the next button can be pressed. Press the Sign Me Up button to set up an email address on a CRA file. Press the Add Email button. An email address is required to get access to the CRA account. A successful completion of all login steps to the CRA account. Select Overview. On the Overview web page, select Personal Profile. On the Personal Profile web page, scroll down. Press the Continue button of the Multi-Factor Authentication Settings section. Select Passcode Grid. The Manage Multi-Factor Authentication web page allows to save as PDF, print, delete, or generate a new passcode grid. Press the Previous button to return to the Overview web page. On the Overview web page, press the Sign Out button. On the Secure Session Ended web page, press the Exit button to return to the main web page of the CRA website. Return to the main web page of the CRA website. Demonstration of access to the CRA account completed. Security strength of the passcode grip multi-factor authentication method. The passcode grip table is a 5 by 5 table with 25 cells in total containing 25 triplets. The columns of the passcode grip table are identified with one character letters. The rows of the passcode grip table are identified with one digit numbers. This is a simulated example of the passcode grip table. The passcode grip multi-factor authentication method can't be compared to crypto methods and algorithms which use the digital signature of some length in bits. For example, a 256-bit digital signature, or a 512-bit digital signature. A very simple evaluation of the security strength of the PASCO GRIB multi-factor authentication method can be easily done. Three cases will be considered. Case number one, total number of permutations of the 26 characters of the English alphabet of a 75-character string. Case number two, total number of permutations of the 26 characters of the English alphabet of a 9 character string. Case number 3, total number of permutations of the 5 characters of the English alphabet and 5 digits of a 6 character string. Security strength of the passcode grip multi-factor authentication method Case number 1 
security strength of the passcode grip multi-factor authentication method. Case number one. security strength of the passcode grip multi-factor authentication method. Case number two. security strength of the passcode grip multi-factor authentication method. Case number two. security strength of the passcode grip multi-factor authentication method. Case number three. security strength of the passcode grip multi-factor authentication method. Case number three. Review of Cases The PASCO GRIP Multi-Factor Authentication Method is a very resistant to a brute force attack, because the CRA always locks access to the account of a user after three unsuccessful attempts. If an intruder obtained all the personal information of a user, including the content of the passcode grip table, nothing can be done to prevent fraudulent activity with the CRA account. Transformation the passcode grip table to a 75-character string, first row processed. Transformation the passcode grip table to a 75-character string. Second row processed. Transformation the Pasco grip table to a 75 character string. Third row processed. Transformation the Pasco grip table to a 75 character string. Fourth row processed. Transformation the Pasco grip table to a 75 character string. 
fifth row processed. Transformation the Pasco grid table to a 75 character string completed. Summary and Conclusion In 2019, Canada Revenue Agency has introduced a multi-factor authentication method to provide additional security for users. A mandatory multi-factor authentication method over the telephone was the only option available. It is obvious that some users complained because it wasn't possible to get access to Canada Revenue Agency account without the telephone. In 2022, Canada Revenue Agency added a second multi-factor authentication method using a passcode grid table which allows users to get access to account without the telephone. The passcode grid table is a 5 by 5 table with 25 cells in total containing 25 triplets. The columns of the passcode grid table are identified with one character letters. The rows of the passcode grid table are identified with one digit numbers. This is a simulated example of the passcode grid table. This is a simulated example of the passcode grid table. As you can see, in the passcode grid table, there are 25 triplets. In cell A1, there is a triplet ABC. In cell B2, there is a triplet STU. If a user is trying to get access to a CRE account using the PASCO grid table of multi-factor authentication method, the CRE will ask the user to enter three random triplets from cells of the PASCO grid table. A, B, C, from a A1 cell, STU, from a B2 cell, KLM from a C3 cell. The passcode grid multi-factor authentication method can't be compared to crypto methods and algorithms which use a digital signature of some length in bits, for example, a 256-bit digital signature or a 512-bit digital signature. A very simple evaluation of the security strength of the PASCO grid multi-factor authentication method can be easily done. The PASCO grid multi-factor authentication method is a very resistant to a brute force attack because the CRA always locks access to the account of a user after three unsuccessful attempts. If an intruder obtained all the personal information of a user, including the content of the passcode grid table, nothing can be done to prevent fraudulent activity with the CRA account. Appendix A, Recommended Esther Pro Tech Video Technical Reports References for review Please support science and technology research and development work of Astra Pro Tech. Thank you. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe to Astro Pro Tech video channel.